गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ द टाइप्स ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न शेयर कैपिटल प्रेफरेंस शेयर्स एज वेल एज ऑर्डिनरी इक्विटी शेयर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ द इक्विटी शेयर एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ शेयर्स आर हाउ मेनी वेज ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस इक्विटी शेयर टू बी इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट ऑफ अ कंपनी द टाइप्स ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल द बेसिक शेयर कैपिटल नोन एज एन ऑथोराइज कैपिटल ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ नॉमिनल कैपिटल और ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज यू कैन से रजिस्टर्ड कैपिटल नाउ वॉट दैट ऑथोराइज कैपिटल मीन्स ऑथोराइज कैपिटल मीन्स द लाइफ टाइम कैपिटल ऑफ द कंपनी at time of incorporation you have to estimate a particular figure this figure to be registered with the company register and in your memorandum of association in one of the capital clause that what you have to mention that this is the figure which you have estimated for the lifetime of the company so that is maximum amount let us take a simple illustration that suppose the company have estimated 1 crore as the authorized capital so authorized capital 1 crore and 10 rupee is the share value face value of the share is 10 rupee so if you divide 1 crore with 10 you will get that 10 lakhs are the equity shares are to be issued by the company lifetime during the lifetime that is what an authority company has acquired that we can go for the 10 lakh equity share and we can collect money from the market up to 10 lakh you cannot collect money as much as you think and you say you have to have an a permission for that authority for that so that is nominal capital also you can call authorized capital or registered capital now out of this total authority when you actually put a part of capital into the market for the public subscription that is what called as a issued capital so when the issued capital means that is a part of the authorized capital it always going to be lesser authorized capital figure is the ultimate total maximum all the rest of the capital are going to be less so what is issued capital issued capital means part of authorized capital which actually you put into the market for public subscription that is issued capital for an example suppose 1 tenth portion 10000 of a 10 rupee face value means 1 lakh only company has put up into the market for public to subscribe for that out of issued capital public going to subscribe you will get the response of the people the response may be more the response may be less so subscribe capital may be more you have asked 10000 shares and you are getting application for 11000 sometime you may get less also you are getting application of 9000 only so it may be over subscription it may be under subscription if you have an over subscription you cannot hold a single rupee more than what you have asked for you have to refund the excess money to the public if they have over subscribed and if it is an under subscription you can't do anything the only thing you can do is you may take an help of the underwriters you remember in class 11 we have learned so banks and financial institutions are appointed as an underwriter to support you in case of your under subscription so that is what issued capital then the subscribe capital now this 10 rupee you have asked for out of this called up capital called up means you have asked the investor to give you the money that is the called up capital suppose 10 rupee is the face value you have called only 7 rupee that is called as a called up capital and uncalled capital uncalled capital means the management think that we don't need 3 rupee more just now or we don't need this much so that is called uncalled you have not asked only so why should investor give you just now so the money which company has not asked to pay that is known as a uncalled capital now the called up capital 
called up capital out of that paid up you are calling but not necessary everybody listen to your call okay the, some investor may be abroad or some investor may have applied but now they have no money to pay you or some investor now feel that i don't want to continue whatever so sometime the paid up capital also going to be less or more how less when the few investor they not pay the call and they created calling arrears so the question of calling arrears will arise from those investors that they are not responding to your call and few are paying in advance they say that i have to pay 10 7 rupees no let me pay all together i don't want an hassle that 2 rupee today i pay and 3 rupee again company will ask and i pay and like that they pay all together and they may create the calling advance so in this manner the called up capital create the different situations and accordingly we are going to enter the entries in our books of account now this uncalled capital ultimately transferred as a reserve capital so there are two type of authorized capital you can say issued capital and reserve capital issued capital means the money which you are looking for and you want to issue and the reserve capital means when the uncalled capital this uncalled capital is converted into the reserve capital by passing a special resolution in annual general meeting and you get a permission of your shareholders that we don't want this money and we are converting it to reserve as a reserve capital now this capital can be called only at time of liquidation of the company otherwise reserve capital not asked by the company so in this manner total authorized capital may be part issued or may be part converted as a reserve capital so this is what all about the various names given to the same that is share capital but share capital sometime known as issued capital also sometime you called it the subscribed capital also sometime you called it as a called up capital also step by step whatever the situation accordingly we have to identify and we have to write the journal entry now today let us see how the basic journals to be written now see we are going to write the journal journal fundamental rules remain same whether it is a individual proprietorship he brings the capital what journal we write bank account debit to capital account credit if the partners are bringing capital what journal we used to write Cap bank account debit to partners capital account credit so bank money comes in and capital liability we are creating so in case of a company the same journals are to be written but only the writing method is different because company is not collecting total capital at a time second company is not collecting only from 1 or 10 or 50 or 100 people company collecting capital from number of people all together those are known as a share holder as here we have seen that there are 10 lakh share holder holding 10 10 rupee share so 10 lakh people are going to contribute all together so you can't record in a way as we used to record so the journal remain the same fundamental rules remain the same but the recording aspect keep on changing second company is not collecting 10 also together as i said no here issued capital is a 10 rupee but out of that 7 you are asking and 3 you are keeping as a uncalled capital you convert it into reserve capital so even the same also not recorded so the recording aspect is very different in case of company now let us see with a very simple illustration the basic journal entries of recording share capital in the business suppose for an example that the face value of the share 10 rupee only and the 10 rupee company is asking not together split into the various company asked 2 rupee at time of application 
company as 3 rupee at time of allotment, 2 rupee again as a first call and 3 rupee again as a final call. So if you do the total, 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 become 10. So now in this manner, how the share capital is created and how the entry to be recorded. So let us see the first entry. Company has asked for the application. So when company put the prospector into the open market, into the newspaper and public in, uh, with a public mass media, the advertisement are put up by the company for the shares. So all the investors, probable investors, they read the uh, prospector, they see the advertisement and they decide that I want to go for the application of so and so company's share. So basically first time, investor will give money with the application for the first time. So here the first journal entry we have to ask, write that application money you are going to receive. How money you are going to receive? With a bank check. So bank account debit 2. Why you have received this money? Towards the equity share application. So 2 equity share application account. This is your very first journal entry. Now here the number of shares into the amount of application you have to multiply and write the figure. Whatever the number as per example whatever number is given the number of shares into the application money to be written as a amount column and that you write down. Now this application account you have opened. This is a temporary account. Our permanent account will be share capital account. So immediately next to next we are going to write the journal entry that we close an application account and generate the permanent capital account. So here you have that is equity share application account debit to equity share capital account. Is that clear? <coughs> now, in normal case, if the what you have applied and what you need, everything is the same, then no problem. But if you have received some more application, at that time, the subscribed capital are more. In that situation, you also have to refund the money by writing that is to bank account. Only if you have extra applications, if the number of applications are same, then no need of refund of any amount. So just now we are not writing when we get the type of question, we will write. Now this is the situation to journal entry only for the first case application. Now number three, you are going to allot the shares to the shareholder. Now you will demand and then shareholder will pay. So first will be our call, demand, journal entry. So we will be writing in journal entry that equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital account. Again, to whosoever number of allotment you have done with the amount what you are asking, you have to write the journal. Now you have asked for and public is going to pay. So the fourth entry becomes the money comes. So bank account debit to equity share allotment account. Like this you will be writing the journal for allotment. Now if all are paying then fine. But if somebody don't pay, then you have that call-in area situation. So again, when the call-in areas will come, at that time we have to write that bank will be the lesser amount. So bank account debit, call-in areas account debit to equity share allotment account. But later on, we will study that concept. Like this, so the second plot over. Now the next, we are asking money for the first call. Again, the entries will remain the same for the first and final. That is what you can say that equity share first call account debit to 
equity share capital account with that two rupee with number of shares whatever you have. And the same way you get the money what you have asked for. So the entry becomes the same bank account debit to equity share first call call account again the same exactly in the same manner repeat the entry for the final call that equity share final call account debit that will be entry number 7 to equity share capital account and entry number 8 will be bank account debit to equity share final call account in this manner the basic journal entry of demanding money towards the share capital and we are crediting our share capital account with the amount of 2 rupee, 3 rupee, 2 rupee and 3 rupee. Like this we keep on generating our share capital with a credit effect and we show it in our liability side of balance sheet. So, fundamental entry is the same that bank account debit to share capital account credit. But instead of writing only word capital in a sole proprietor, here we are writing as a share capital and into the various parts, into the various denomination we are asking money. We are not asking money all together because company cannot handle all together the total amount immediately. So company won't amount step by step. So from time to time they demand money and they keep on recording and creating their share capital account. So this is what the basic simple journal entry of share capital recording. Later on the point of that call in areas will be added. A point of that call in advance will be added. And the shares may be issued at a premium or shares may be issued at a discount. As per the example, we keep on adding the entries and we will make the whatever changes required into the entry. But the basic concept is the same. As per our rules of debit and credit of our personal account as well as the real account, the entries are to be recorded. I hope you understood. With next example, we will start logically writing journals. Thank you.